we found rites of the Zoic. Those semicircles are inscribed inside. The diameter of the small semicircle is 10 cm and the diameter of the large one is 40. What is the area of the trapezoid? Watch the video if you want to figure it out for yourself and then keep watching for a solution. Mark vertices of the trapezoid as A, B, C, D. Also mark centers of the semicircles as E and F. And finally, mark the contact point of two semicircles as G. A, B and B, C are tangents to the semicircles. It means that at the point of tangency, A, B and B, C are perpendicular to the radius of the semicircles. We have three points of tangency. Mark them as H, I and J. Draw lines H, E, I, F and J, F. To determine the area of the trapezoid, we should take the average of the bases and then multiply by the height. In our case, base 1 is AD, base 2 is BC, and height is AB. BC equals to the sum of BJ and JC, AB equals to the sum of AH. HI and IV. Let's find out all unknown lengths. It's known the diameter of the small semicircle is 10 cm, so the radius is 5. Mark it as R1. Diameter of the large semicircle is 40 cm, so the radius is 20. Mark it as R2. In quadrilateral IPJF, IF and FJ are radiuses of the large semicircle, so their length is 20 cm. Three angles are right, so the first angle is also right. From this, we move to the conclusion that IBGF is a square, so all the sides are equal. HIFE is the right trapezoid with height HI. Draw another height EK. HIKE is a rectangle, so opposite sides are equal. Thus, HE, which is the radius of the small semicircle, equals to IK and HI equals to EK. In right triangle EKF, KF equals to the difference of IF and IK and it equals to the difference of R2 and R1. Substituting the values, we get 20 minus 5, which equals to 15. EF equals to the sum of EG and GF and it equals to the sum of R1 and R2. Substituting the values, we get 5 plus 20, which equals to 25. Since we know two sides of the right triangle, we can figure out the length of the third side using Pythagorean theorem. EK squared equals to EF squared minus KF squared equals to 25 squared minus 15 squared and it equals to 20 squared. So EK equals to HI and equals to 20 centimeters. Before we move further, we need to refer to some theoretical material. The first one is proportion, the second one is similar triangles, and the last one is two parallel lines and transversal. Let's start with proportion. A proportion is a name we give to a statement that two ratios are equal. From the proportion, we can go to another equation. Let's view some examples. Ratio 4 to 5 equals to ratio 20 to 25. To check whether it's correct, we can write it in another way. Both results are equal to 100, that means that we have a right proportion. 
in another example, we have one unknown number. To find out it, we need to divide both sides by 12. So the unknown number is 10. Next, move to similar triangles. Assume we have one triangle. Mark its vertices as A1, B1, and C1. And also we have another triangle with its vertices as A2, B2, and C2. If the triangles are similar, then all corresponding angles are equal. And all corresponding sides have the same ratio. And finally, let's move to the last one. Assume we have two parallel lines and have a third line that crosses them. The crossing line is called a transversal. When a transversal line intersects with two parallel lines, eight angles are produced. Mark them with number from 1 to 8. Then angles 1 and 5 are equal, also 2 and 6 are equal, 3 and 7 are equal, 4 and 8 are equal. Now we can continue with solving the problem. Angles HIF and IVC are equal. AB is a transversal line for IF and BC. So lines IF and BC are parallel. On the other hand, DC is a transversal line for IF and BC. So angles KFE and JCF are equal. Mark them as alpha. Triangles EKF and FGC are right, so angle KEF equals to 90 degrees minus alpha, and angle JFC equals to 90 degrees minus alpha, so the angles are equal. In triangle EKF and FGC, all corresponding angles are equal, so the triangles are similar. Therefore, all corresponding sides have the same ratio, so we can make a proportion. Substituting the value, we obtain that ratio 20 to 20 is equal to ratio 15 to JC. After solving the equation, we find out that the length of JC is 15. AHED is a right trapezoid with height AG. Draw another height DL. In the same way, we can obtain that the triangles EKF and DLE are similar. So we can make a proportion and find the length of LE. In right triangle DEL, we know two sides, so we can figure out the length of the third side using Pythagorean theorem. dl squared equals to de squared minus le squared equals to r1 squared minus 3 squared equals to 5 squared minus 3 squared and it equals to 4 squared. So dl equals to 4 centimeters. ahld is a rectangle. So AH equal to DL and equals to 4 cm and AD equals to HL equals to HE minus LE equals to R1 minus 3 and equals to 5 minus 3 and it equals to 2 cm. Finally, we find out all the necessary lengths. So we can find the area of the trapezoid by substituting values in the formula. After simplification, we get 37 multiplied by 22, which equals to 814, and that's the correct answer of the problem. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell, and give the video a big thumbs up.